Once you've got the developer app installed, it's time to create the container for our application. This container is what creates the page that holds the infamous Facebook canvas, the iframe into which our application will load. So let's check it out. So to get to this page where you can create your new app, you want to go to developers.facebook.com slash apps. Once you're here, you can click on this button to create a new app. This is what the page looks like when you haven't created any apps. When you've got some apps, it's going to look a little bit different. So once I hit the create new app button, I'm going to need to type in an app name. This is just what our users are going to know the app as. So I'll type in source foo here, and it's going to check to make sure that's a valid and available name. And then I need to type in an app namespace. An app namespace is Facebook's internal name for your app. It's formatting. It's much more restrictive than the app name. So let's try typing in source foo, and you'll see that I'll get a failed error. It doesn't really explain why until you roll over this little question mark, and it's going to tell you that the app space can only contain lowercase letters, dashes, and underscores. So this space right here is not good. So I'm going to hit the delete there, and that name is available. If you want to, you can click on this. I would like free web hosting provided by Heroku. However, it's a little bit complicated to set up, and the way that I have created my app is by hosting it on a separate server, which we'll talk about in another movie. So I'm going to click on Continue, and sometimes you might see a security check like this. These are getting really hard for me to figure out nowadays. I think maybe that's a W-O-R. So let's try Submit. And that seems to have worked. That's great. Okay, so you may have to retype the app namespace. I'm not sure why, but sometimes it doesn't take it. So source foo. And you want to type in your site domain. So these are the web addresses of your website. So whatever your website address is, this is what you would type in here. I'm going to type in I viewsource.com, hit the tab key, and I'm going to click back in here. And I'll also type in the www version just in case. Source.com, hit tab key again. You need to pick a category for your app, and that is sometimes going to impact the types of things that you can do with the open graph data. So for this one, I'm going to choose games because although this is not really going to be a game per se, it's going to use some of the game functionality to add achievements. So I'm going to click on that. It's not any of these type of games, so I'm just going to choose other. And next, we need to specify what types of integration we want to do with this Facebook app. So I'm going to click on website, and I'm going to type in the website URL here. That should just be your website address with the HTTP colon slash slash ivysource.com. Make sure you put the trailing slash right there, or it might cause some problems later on. You also are going to be creating an app on Facebook, so you want to click that on and type in your Canvas URL. This is the URL to where your Facebook application is on your website. It's probably going to be in a folder. So I'm going to type in my website address slash Facebook, and I'm going to put that trailing slash. I'm also going to need a secure Canvas URL, which will look something like this. It'll have an HTTPS instead of an HTTP. So that is something that you're going to have to set up with your hosting company. The ability to create a secure version of your website is really important, and it's required by Facebook as of last October. So that's really all you need for this site. Let me make sure I typed in everything correctly. It's really, really important. I'm going to hit Save Changes. And it looks like because I was previously creating this app namespace, it's not going to allow me to do it. So if you get an error like that, it means that I'm going to have to type in a different app namespace. And I'm going to just type in an extra O there and hit Save Changes, see if it takes that. So these two numbers are the app ID, which is just an ID for this particular application. And the other is an app secret, which you'll need whenever you're working with certain types of functions in JavaScript. You obviously can't memorize this, but you'll be going back here to get the app secret and the app ID. So now that you've set up the container for your app, most of the Facebook work is done. In essence, we've created the page on Facebook and set up the canvas for our application. Now you're ready for the second part of the equation, which is setting up your hosting and the page that you're going to use to feed into the canvas.